from a previous video, we learned that if we have a line AB passing through the points A of coordinates x1, y1 and B of coordinates x2, y2, the horizontal displacement can be given as x2 minus x1 and the vertical displacement as y2 minus y1. Now, I would want you to consider this right angle triangle. If we are to apply Pythagoras theorem to find the length of the line AB, then AB squared should be equal to x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Therefore, the length of the line AB is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. This is how we find the length of a line joining two points. Let us look at this example. Find the length of a line joining the points x of coordinates 5 and minus 2 and y of coordinates 9 and negative 5. Now we've already established that the length of a line joining two points can be calculated this way. So for the two points that we have, 5 minus 2 and 9 and minus 5, we can say let this be our x1 and y1 x2 and y2. So for the length of the line, we will go xy is equal to the square root of 9 minus 5 all squared. That's our x2 minus x1 squared plus minus 5 minus minus 2, which is our y2 minus y1 squared. If we simplify this, 9 minus 5 gives us 4, so we have 4 squared. Minus 5 minus minus 2 is minus 3, so we have minus 3 squared. So we get the square root of 4 squared, which is 16, and minus 3 squared, which is 9. 16 plus 9 is 25. So we'll be having the square root of 25. So the final answer comes out as a 5.